that's what it's all about right there. Reviving the fish, running along, passing some oxygen-rich water through her gills. As she starts to pump that tail, they'll let her go. There she goes to fight another day. Yeah, it's about lunchtime. Look over and there's a little swallow or a little swift, some type of little bird chilling on the right rigger. That's National Geographic country down here. That bird really wishes we had settled down and stopped moving so much. He wants it to chill out a little bit. I know a dove is a true sign of peace, but that swallow flying over here and landing on our boat and chilling with us makes me feel pretty good. These riggers have a screw on the top of the pin and that screw regulates the amount of pressure it takes to release. What he's doing right now is he's attaching a rubber band, a number 32 rubber band. There he goes, he's tightening it. He's just checking it. Yesterday we were trolling in the afternoon, so he's checking it to make sure it's at the proper strength. Now the rubber band keeps from chafing the monofilament line. He's gonna run it up about halfway, and that's gonna separate the bait from right behind the boat fish comes up and eats, it's going to snatch it out of that pin and you'll be straight from the reel to the fish. We were fishing and fishing and fishing and then one of our buddies on a boat right next to us he hooks up. So I grab my camera, I run to the front of the boat, we're snapping pictures, snapping pictures, Jeff shooting footage. We reeled all our baits in, and the mate Levin, he reeled everything in except our flat line, and the flat line was just 15 feet behind the boat. The swivel was up at the rod. I'm on the front of the boat shooting pictures, and I hear, Marlin! He's freaking out! There's a Marlin circling the back of the boat trying to eat the bait right off the transom. Well, Jeff goes to grab the rod, and Levin's like, no, no, it's a marlin. He's like, right, and I'm gonna catch it. Rod's gonna film it. So Jeff grabs the rod, feeds this fish, and instantly, he's hooked up. I grab the camera, pick it up, and game time. You know what, I'm more of a host than I am a cameraman, but let me tell you something. It's special when you can take the camera and reverse the tide and film the guy who travels the world filming you. Right now, I'm holding the camera, and Jeff, our executive producer, main cameraman, and the big boss of Real Adventures is on the rod. I was on the front of the boat trying to take pictures of our buddies fighting a marlin, and sure enough, as we're clearing the baits, here's a marlin, pow, right on the back. Jeff grabs the rod, feeds them, and the fight is on. It was very special, and watch that smile on Jeff's face. He's about six foot eight, 260 pounds. He's a huge guy, and he's like a human tripod. But let me tell you something, folks. He's good with a fishing pole. He's got cat-like hands and cat-like reflexes, and to see him hook that big blue marlin was pretty darn cool. All I'm telling you is that my right eye is glued to this camera, and I'm watching one of my best friends have the time of his life. He wants to shoot and wire at the same time. Folks at home, he's a freak. We've all seen the magazines, we've all seen the ads, we've all seen that famous logo, Tropic Star Lodge. And for those of us who've been here, you understand that Tropic Star Lodge is basically just a, a paradise stuck out in the Panamanian jungle. Uh, the first time I came here was 2006. I was excited about coming, but I had no real idea what to expect. Well now, at the end of my second trip, I'm just getting to know Tropic Star Lodge, the staff, the crew members, the people here. People say, where should I go? Well, I can promise you one thing. If you choose Tropic Star Lodge, you won't be sorry. Tropic Star Lodge takes the guesswork out of it. Get here. Relax. Don't worry about anything. They've got it all, and they're going to make sure you're happy. I promise you, if you choose Tropic Star Lodge, you're going to have a time of your life Leave all your stress, your worries, and your problems behind. Come down here with a clear mind. Have a great time. And when you get done, shoot me an email. It's realadventures.tv. Tell me your Tropic Star story. Shoot me an email. Send me a picture. Shoot, send me a link to a little video. I'd love to hear about it. Yeah! Woo! First blue marlin in Panama. Thanks, Rob. I appreciate you shooting, buddy. So you know what? Fishing is about the memories, it's about the camaraderie, it's about the experience. 
and to be able to go and catch fish and experience times like that with great friends, it doesn't get any better. That's what life is all about. Thunder and lightning. He is as crazy as he looks. You know, this is one of the best parts of Tropic Star Lodge. When you come in from fishing at the end of the day, not only do you want something cold to drink, they walk out with fresh Dorado fingers. Fresh fried dolphin fingers, and you know what? They are so good when you're at home, you try to make them, but you can never make them this good. That's what it's all about, man, having a good time. It's real life, it's real fun, it's real adventure. Thanks for watching. Don't go changing, trying to please me. You never let me down before. I don't imagine you're too familiar and I don't see you anymore. Yeah. I would not leave you in times of trouble. We never could have come this far. Oh love, I took the good times. I'll take the bad times, I'll take you just the way you are.